Sensory pathways involve five main steps. The first step involves sensory reception, which is the detection of stimuli by sensory receptors. Next, sensory transduction involves the conversion of stimulus energy into a change in the membrane potential of a sensory receptor, which is known as the receptor potential. After energy has been transduced into a receptor potential, some sensory cells generate the transmission of action potentials to the central nervous system. Then, the central nervous system integrates the sensory information, usually through summation of excitatory or inhibitory postsynaptic potentials. Lastly, a perception is formed, which is a brain's construction of stimuli. Sensory pathway can be modified in two ways. It can undergo amplification, which is the strengthening of stimulus energy by cells in sensory pathways. It can also undergo sensory adaptation, which is a decrease in responsiveness to continued stimulation. For example, it only takes a few seconds for our eyes to adjust when we turn on the lights. The integumentary system is an organ system consisting of the skin, hair, nails, and exocrine glands. Our skin consists of three layers. The outermost layer is known as the epidermis. It is made of 40 to 50 rows of stacked squamous epithelial cells. The dermis is the deep layer of skin found under the epidermis. It is mostly made of dense irregular connective tissue along with nervous tissue, blood, and blood vessels. Underneath the dermis is the hypodermis, which serves as a flexible connection between the skin and the underlying subcutaneous layer. There are five main types of cutaneous mechanoreceptors that respond to touch and pressure in our skin. Merkel's discs are found in the basal epidermis and hair follicles. They provide information on pressure, position, and deep static touch features, such as shapes and edges. Mycinar's corpuscles are rapidly adaptive receptors they are sensitive to light touches and texture, such as the fingers and lips, whereas Pacinian corpuscles are responsible for deep pressure and fast vibrations. Ruffini's corpuscle is a slow adapting receptor that is sensitive to skin stretch and sustained pressure. Lastly, free nerve endings detect pain. Based on the energy transduced, sensory receptors fall into five categories. Mechanoreceptors sense physical deformation such as the cutaneous receptors that I just mentioned. Other examples of mechanical receptors include the hair cells in our ear that help us detect sounds by responding to the vibration of air waves. Mechanical receptors are also responsible for the perception of body equilibrium in many animals. Most invertebrates maintain equilibrium using sensory organs called statocysts, which contain mechanical receptors that detect the movement of granules called statoliths. Most fishes and aquatic amphibians have a lateral line system along both sides of their body, which contains mechanical receptors with hair cells that detect and respond to water movement. In humans, body position and balance is detected by the vestibular system. Utricle and saccule contain granules called autoliths that allow us to detect gravity and linear movement, while three semicircular canals contain fluid and allow us to detect angular acceleration such as the turning of the head. More details about the auditory system will be covered in a future video. Electromagnetic receptors detect electromagnetic energy such as light, electricity, and magnetism. Photoreceptors are electromagnetic receptors that detect light. Some snakes have very sensitive infrared receptors that detect body heat of prey against a colder background. Many sharks contain electroreceptors known as ampulla of Lorenzini, which can help a shark sense prey by detecting the electrical fields generated by activities of the prey. Many mammals, such as whales and migratory birds, use magnetic receptors to detect Earth's magnetic field lines to orient themselves as they migrate. Chemoreceptors detect changes in chemical concentrations. There are two types of chemoreceptors. General chemoreceptors transmit information about the total solute concentration of a solution, such as the osmoreceptors found in the hypothalamus, which senses changes in the blood glucose and ion concentrations. Specific chemoreceptors respond to individual kinds of molecules. The perceptions of olfaction or smell and gustation or taste both depend on specific chemoreceptors. Olfaction is dependent on the detection of odorant molecules. Insects detect odorants using olfactory hairs, which are usually located on their antennae. The chemical DEET sold as an insect repellent actually protects against bite by blocking the olfactory receptor in mosquitoes that detects human scent. In humans, odorants are detected by olfactory receptor cells that line the upper portion of the nasal cavity. 
There are G protein coupled receptors that trigger a signal transduction pathway, which send action potential to the olfactory bulb in our brain. Gustation is dependent on the detection of specific chemicals known as tastins. Taste receptors of insects are in sensory hairs called sensilla, which are located on feet and in mouth parts. In humans, taste receptors are modified epithelial cells organized into taste buds. There are five taste perceptions: sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. The sensation of sweet, umami, and bitter taste require a G protein coupled receptor. The receptor for sour taste then belong to the TRP family, which stands for Transient Receptor Potential Family. The taste receptor for salt is a sodium channel. Umami receptors typically respond to glutamates and nucleotides, which are widely present in meat broths and fermented products. Thermal receptors respond to heat and cold, which help regulate body temperature by signaling both surface and body core temperature. The receptor specific for high temperature is sensitive to capsaicin, which is also found in hot chili peppers. The thermal receptors responsible for cold temperature. Can be activated by menthol, which are also found in mint. The last type of sensory receptors are known as nosy receptors or pain receptors, which are a class of naked dendrites in the epidermis. Pain receptors also belong to the TRP family and respond to excess heat, pressure, or chemicals released from damaged or inflamed tissues. Nosy receptors are activated by prostaglandin and inhibited by aspirin and ibuprofen.